हेलो वट इज गाइज इट्स योर फेवरेट यूट्यूबर So today guys we're going to test Silver Surfer out and also discuss how expensive he is to build and how deep a hole he makes in your pocket. We'll discuss if he's worth the investment. So if you guys want more videos like this do hit me in the comments down below and guys do subscribe because it's the time when we need your support the most. So without further ado let's get into the video. Being a native tier 2 Silver Surfer costs exactly what Thanos does. He costs a little less than Jean and Strife because they don't need the ban of different ranks, which makes Silver Surfer much more expensive. He is so expensive that for the past couple weeks I have been busy grinding for gold and materials for him. And yet I am not done with him. I have already spent over 65 million gold, and all my resources and stuffs have been depleted. And for the part where he is worth it or not, veterans will no doubt max him out. and put ctp of wages on it and rank that he is best everyone should get it yada 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 players who are somehow somewhere between veterans and intermediate will argue that he is a must have or a nada for players who are intermediate will simply ignore his existence and slowly grind their way while the beginners will say it's out of their league well according to me whether you get him or not simply depends on your resources and the limit to which you can spend If you think it through, Silver Surfer costs somewhat 85 plus million gold, 6008 bios to reach level 60, 8000 plus black antimatter. While with these exact resources you can tier to about 5 to 6 common characters and push higher in Shadowlands. Yes, Silver Surfer is amazing no doubt. He is great for PvP and can clear high level world boss ultimate. But the hero pool is so large that there's plenty other option which you might not yet have or have invested in and will cost you much less you probably should wait on silver surfer and slowly but surely grind your way through if you're pvp focused and have not yet built a solid pvp team of 3 you should get working on silver surfer as asap because he has every meta ability for it he can do the job of wasp as well as hit like a truck so he's just a mixed bag of every delicacies and sugar but too much of sugar can cause diabetes of course this is the part to which you should rethink if you are thinking about building silver surfer and for those who can afford him congrats on the achievement while mine is still under construction as far as my build for him is concerned i got him to 6 stars level 60 all skills just at level 2 because i am a bit short on gold gears at 18 and went with power of angry hulk for iso 8 set I believe the most optimal will be overdrive but I went with power of angry hulk just for extra chaotic ISO A to give him more HP for obelisk I gave him an ignore dodge recovery rate 160% proc a simple but strong obelisk but later realized his healing was based on his HP and wasted the recovery rate stuff I also am arguing whether to give him the CTP of energy I have in my inventory Just for testing him a little in PVE. Do you guys want to see CTP of energy action? Listen, tell me in the comments down below. As far as his strength is the matter of interest, he has a long iframe on his four and a half iframe on his five, which several times gets interrupted by bosses. The animations are beautiful and well designed. His movement speed is also very fast, so as to dodge the bosses. He has defense down as well as fracture on multiple skills, dealing on three. Some people ask me why the heal on 3 is not working. But to answer that, his third skill acts like Wolverine and Bishop's third skill and only activates when you get hit during its animation. The skill even reflects 100% of the damage taken. So that's a plus. And now let's take a moment to talk about the channel. The pace at which the channel is growing is amazing and the love from you guys is overwhelming. We're almost at 1000 subs. and i have not forgotten about the promise tak stack giveaway as soon as we hit 1000 subs the giveaway contest will commence in the next video i'll update you guys about the giveaway and how to participate in it and i would also like to hear from you guys on content you want me to cover 
and make a video on it. So next I'm going to take Silver Surfer for a spin against Thanos stage 9 twice and then against Ebony stage 25. I know stage 25 and 9 are pretty lousy and low but considering my raid level is 160 and my Silver Surfer is just with gear 18 and skill level 2, it's pretty decent. I tried against Ebony stage 29 and 28 but they were tough for him to beat. Perhaps when he's maxed, he'll clear it easily. I'll add trying to clear those in a pop-up for you guys to see. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, do hit the like button and if you are new, hit subscribe. And always remember, you guys are awesome. See you in the next video. Enjoy the World Boss Ultimate Fight. around like an ocean